it seems like so many years now, TikTok has been one of the biggest social media platforms anyone has ever seen. Every day, millions of people online post literally whatever they want to show their thoughts, feelings, stories, and anything else to their TikTok accounts. And over time, there have been some TikTokers that have managed to break through into Hollywood and are now even full-blown celebrity status. But there is a big problem with TikTok, and that is because so many people use the app to chase clout and fame. Clout! There are some super disgusting people that spread straight up lies in return for thousands of likes. One of these indicaments happened with a girl who nearly ruined a man's life after accusing him of essaying her. Yeah. So we're already not off to a good start with this one, y'all. It began when this girl, who I can no longer find the account of anywhere, made this video. She did a trend where people who have been SA'd expose their abusers by posing as them and then posting pictures of them in the same pose. This is something that has become so much more common on TikTok and it has actually helped these disgusting criminals receive some of the punishment they deserve. However, it's not quite the same for this girly in the video as she decided to do the trend and use pictures of a man she doesn't even know. Yeah, you guys, you heard me right. She literally had zero connection to this man who is completely innocent, and I'm being deadly serious. She really went on Google and took a picture of someone else's website and just ran with her little story. Sometimes Gen Z really have me questioning my faith in humanity. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and let y'all watch this video for yourselves because it is literally insane. <laughs> see this video seems no different than any of the other videos people make about exposing their abusers, but this girly got caught in 4k using a picture that was entirely random off of the internet that showed the man who was 100% innocent. Girl you sure? Cause this man is making beer and took from random website right attention seeker. This is literally tragic. So basically this girlie found this random picture on the internet of a guy making beer and decided to post herself doing the same pose as him and accuse him of the R word. I can't believe people are actually this disgusting. This guy could have had a family and been married with kids and a job and if the situation never got exposed, who knows what could have happened to him. Something super important that I want to mention though you guys is that when someone opens up about being SA'd, you should always believe the victim. Because although the case with this girl in particular is horrifying, false accusations are way more rare than people unfortunately experiencing assault. So I don't wanna see any of you being nasty about other people who have done this trend in the comments. A ton of people who have been SA'd before were very mad about this whole situation as they explained that when someone puts a false accusation about this kind of stuff online for clout, it stops real victims from being believed which is a massive problem. Let's just read some of these comments, y'all. She is one of the reasons why people don't believe actual victims. I'm saying this as someone who has been or any girl that ruins a man's life with false accusations should be thrown in jail. What she did is literally offensive to people who actually go through things like that. Anyways though, loves, this isn't the only case on TikTok of someone lying about trauma. It's actually a much bigger issue than you think it is, as there are now people on the app pretending to have mental illnesses for clout. Ugh, girly. Whatever happened to getting famous for having an actual talent? I'm not even kidding, you guys. One of the most common disorders that people have been faking is dissociative identity disorder, or DID for short, which is a disorder caused from extreme childhood trauma and results in people having multiple personalities that are near impossible to control without treatment. However, all of a sudden, a ton of teenagers on TikTok have been claiming to have DID and making videos videos showing off all their personalities, which are called alters. Just watch this with me, y'all. Hello, I am Yoshi. I use any pronouns. Um, most people refer to me with he, him, I think. Um, I am a little, specifically, I am seven years old. Um, I am a gender, um, and non-binary. Um, and I know some of y'all might be wondering how I can be so sure that these videos are fake. And that 
is because when this video specifically was posted, a lot of people who have qualifications in dealing with a disorder like DID came to educate these TikTokers on what actually happens when you suffer with the condition. Basically, from what I've researched, when someone is suffering with DID, they may have personalities that are separate from each other. However, DID is not usually diagnosed until someone is years into being an adult, as their alters to not present as full-blown personalities until later in life. Also, you can't just pick and choose when you switch alters. But a big part of this weird new trend of people faking the disorder is that they like to make really messy videos introducing all of their new alters. For example, there's whatever this video is. <laughs> When a person posts a video like this, honey, I go sprinting to the comment section because everyone always has a lot to say about these people faking the disorder. When you are literally so boring and have no personality, so you fake a serious disorder that ruins people's lives. I honestly feel bad for those who actually have DID while everyone is turning it into a trend. Honestly, you guys, part of me feels bad for these people in a way because I just know that in a few years time, they're gonna grow out of faking illnesses for clout and have to remember that they made these videos where it was <laughs> that they were acting to look quirky and different. What actually leaves me so confused is all of these people on TikTok who are faking having dissociative identity disorder are usually young alternative people who do it to make themselves look edgy and quirky and mistake common traits and likes and dislikes as whole new personalities. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are people who genuinely suffer with the condition and I can only imagine how hard it must be to have to live with something that you can't control that also takes over your entire life. But many Mental illness should never be something used for an aesthetic. And the fact that some people think that it's a good idea is literally so gross. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see y'all in my next video.